everybody, it's Diane once again from Tattered Edges Design at my craft counter. It's the weekend. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but it's the weekend here now. So a lot of times on the weekend I take at least a little part of my craft time and do something just kind of for me, not to necessarily try to sell or for Etsy, etc. So today we have a, well probably end up being mixed media collage. And Okay, how many people know who this is? I'm willing to bet not too many of you, but I do. That is the great Buster Keaton of silent film fame. Well, he went on to do a lot of other things too, but that's in his silent era. And one of his leading ladies, the lovely Sybil Seeley. Uh, it's probably from 1920. So anyway, that's just a print off the internet that I cut out. And this is a piece of poster board where I'm gonna mount it to. And I've got some things. I did go ahead and prep a little bit so you didn't have to watch me, you know, digging around in old magazines. But this is all from old magazines. Some of it's from the 70s, some of it's 50s. But anyway, because of the, I don't know if you can see, design work in her dress, I kind of thought maybe like doily stuff might look kind of nice. So I'm going to kind of see what I want to do here, putting stuff, um, let's see, yeah, I have no idea what Buster's pointing at, that was, I think it was, um, shot at his, on his studio grounds, and this is just goofing around or publicity or something, this wasn't in an actual movie. And if you've never seen a Buster Keaton silent movie, well, do, run, do not walk. Uh, <laughs> and these are old. You ever find these in uh, old craft magazines? It's directions for, that's knitting. It's kind of cool the way they print them out. It makes good background stuff. Oh, I don't know. Some people call this auditioning. And I do have uh, a lot of magazines at the ready if I don't have enough stuff here. This is... <laughs> take a guess what this was. You, you'll never guess. It was from 1977. I'll give you a clue there. 77? Yeah, I think 77. And the chain... There's kind of a chain needle pointed across there that could give you a clue. This is a man's suit vest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 70s. What, what, what can you say? Um, let's see. Could Buster be, this is a border of a rug. I can't tell where I am. Buster could stand on that. Kind of neat. This is a lot of you might recognize that. Can we see? I can't tell where I am. It's a uh, bottom of a macrame piece. It's her beads. And like I said, I probably will go in with paint. This is a. Uh, part of a pattern for some kind of plain thing, but I thought wings, you know, she's up on his shoulders. I don't know. This is just a little border, stripey border thing. And I thought, I usually put some sort of text on it, not always, but kind of look like they're gearing up for one of their stunts in their movies, huh? And this, I don't know if this or not, that's just the uh, inside of an envelope, a security envelope. I kind of like the color. I don't know, I got a little border thing here. Is that 
It needs to be cut though. So our hot weather finally broke today. And I'm awfully happy about that. There. Stand on that buster. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's something. Okay. I'm going to tweak maybe a little bit and then glue this all down and come back. Okay, I'm back, and with the exception of Buster and Sybil, we are glued down because I want to paint and I don't want to get paint on them. Uh, it's pretty much the way I left it with you. I did get a different piece of this because I decided the one I had was too short. It's, it's a little off from what I had, but pretty, pretty darn close. So, I mean, that's kind of nice. Actually, I kind of like that, but I think... Buster and Sybil are a little competing there with the background, so I'm gonna do some paint. I've got, I don't know, I'm sorry. I've got, um, these are all cheapy craft paints, titanium white. We toned down a little tech stuff. And a lot of times when I do this, I go and see how it looks kind of, you can see, you can see the strokes in there, brush strokes. I don't really like that. So I just go in with my finger and kind of model it out. Uh, yeah, that's better. Do some down here. And then that might kind of integrate a little more with this kind of stuff. Yeah. And dog hair. That's better. All right, I think the doily is a little competing for Buster, but maybe we want more like a color. Uh, let's see. If we do a little more like a, a, this gold color that I don't have, but I brought up orange and yellow and didn't get a mixing thing, otherwise known as a palette. So we'll mix it on it. How about that? Well, actually, though, that looks pretty close, doesn't it? Maybe we'll just leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I guess with the black back there, it kind of looks... Cause now it looks kind of Halloween-ish, doesn't it? Okay. But still tone it with some white? I don't know. I can't hear you guys. Let's do kind of a little, let's see what we think. I don't know. We can always go back over it with the orange, right? Let me get this black out here. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, well, I was kind of thinking it is, I don't know what you'd call that, faded reddish, corally color, pulling that down, which I've got a coral. Another, they're all cheapy crap paints from 
Michaels or Hobby Lobby, one of those. Yeah, actually that matches pretty well. What does this do for anybody? I kind of like that. Well, it's a good thing I do because it's paint and it's on there now, right? But a little light with a little yellow. Too bright. Throw a little orange in there. Yeah, that's a little better. Well, generally I put a lot more paint on these type collages than this, but I don't know. Okay, that is too even with that. By the way, Sybil. Alright, we need something here though now. Here though now. Yeah, that's better. And I don't want it ending right on that text that looks though. Okay. A little more white over here. And sometimes we spatter. But what color to spatter? I just want like a gold color, so let's see. If we, here, I'll mix, this is my gesso container. I'll mix on top of that. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. And if you're new to spattering, wear an apron, cover everything in your house. Right. Yeah, I'll tone it with its just a tad blue. Just, I mean, tad probably is too much. How about a hair of blue? Okay. Well, let's give it a go. I'm going to back up so I don't get anything on my clothes. Good. I want some more in this area. Well, I don't think so because they're both looking that away. I don't want to detract. I need a little darker here. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I didn't. I never use a heat gun. I'm going to let it dry and I will come back. Okay, so in the drying time, I hung out laundry, put clean dishes away, got a drink of water, ate an Oreo, and played two video games. So, so you can do a lot if you don't use a heat gun. And of course, in that time, my neighbor's lawn service showed up, so I hope you can't hear that leaf blowing out there. Anyway, we're back. I glued down. Buster and Sybil. I did put a little uh, gesso over that, yeah, real recently. I, the black in it was a little too eye-catching to me. And I fussy cut a couple birds. Uh, I was just off the internet, the old image. And I kind of thought, so I like the colors and, you know, 
Sybil looks like she's up in the clouds there. Mm, something like that. Yeah, I kind of like that better. Alright, let's glue that. And those, that one service has been there for a while. I thought it'd be done by now. Ugh, leaf blowers. I also have a couple stamping things here at the ready. A lot of times on collages, I'll just stamp a couple. Well, sometimes they have a significance, but random numbers. It looks kind of interesting. Where was this? Okay. Um, this is an old rubber stamp I picked up at you have an estate sale or garage sale and it's loose and the last thing broke off but you know what the three other numbers still work okay so what's on there now 720 oh I don't know we'll go 820 just to be different and just twice and do we want it anywhere else? Or a different number somewhere else? Let's go different. I don't know. Sometimes I will put, you know, like a date or if there's a number, another number on, I'll pull that up or something, but we're just being random today. 519. And then we'll, how about we'll go at one up, 520. All right, that's kind of neat. Okay, do we want, I've got these little, I don't know who made this, Hero Arts, little tiny rubber stamps. I kind of thought because there's flowers there, because of the flowers there, would that be something? Maybe, maybe this one up here. Yeah. One more. Yeah, actually, I like that. Let's see. Um. Do we want to pull it down? And obviously, this is going to be trimmed a little bit there on the bottom. Okay, I think that's adequate. All right, I usually sew on these, a little machine stitching here and there. And I thought because of this, maybe a zigzag here here well I'm gonna sew my machines right here but I don't think you really want to listen to that so I'm gonna sew and I'll be right back okay we have been sewn can you see here and down here the, the bottom threads I left on the outside and the top there I knotted underneath and I think that's adequate. And I think we're done. Except for one thing, I'm gonna sign it. Uh, this side. So, Buster and Sybil have been collaged. I like it. I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe give you a little inspiration to do some mixed media stuff today. So there you go. Thanks for watching and have a nice day out there.